Hello again. Some of the more excitable and less articulate people who comment on this channel are in the habit of suggesting that I hate certain groups of people, ranging from homosexuals and black people to immigrants and transsexuals. This is, of course, quite absurd, for I hate nobody at all, but it sheds light upon an interesting little bit of trickery which the left has been engaging in. The object is to encourage people to agree with one single and universally agreed upon narrative, and then seeing if they can have anybody who doesn't subscribe to that narrative shunned, sacked, and if possible, arrested. Put like that, of course, it sounds very sinister and alarming. And so it is. The tool for accomplishing this purpose is the criminalisation of what people think and say, rather than what they actually do. It's often done by means of laws against so-called hate speech. Looking at the situation as it relates to this channel shows how this game is played. I disagree strongly with many of the widely accepted views of modern and progressive people. There's no secret about that. This infuriates some people. Now, of course, I do not engage in criminal activity. I do not attack people or plant bombs or burn down people's homes or anything of that sort. I express my views in calm and, uh, I think, fairly measured tones. So if I'm not doing anything wrong, what is it that people can object to? Well, this is where the nonsense idea of hate speech comes into play. The idea is that saying disagreeable or awkward things might cause somebody else to do something, and so we have to crack down on this pre-crime by arresting and prosecuting the person who has expressed ideas which may cause somebody else to commit a crime. I hope that I made this clear. I am a peaceable, easy-going person who does nothing illegal and hopes that other people will do nothing illegal. However, on the vague off chance that somebody might listen to me talking and then go off and do something dangerous or mad, then I should be prosecuted and prevented from expressing opinions on a wide range of subjects, from immigration to sexual perversion. That, at least, is the view of um, some of those who comment here. This is a favourite tactic of the left lately, and it has got to the point where people are so nervous of the possibility of losing their jobs or being arrested that they automatically censor what they say and write for fear of being accused of hate speech. It does not matter if you just make jokes about things either. That's no excuse because, of course, there are such things as racist or homophobic jokes as well, and these two are subject to the same law. The whole aim of this is to ensure that nobody speaks out of turn or holds or expresses any view which would not be acceptable to the average Guardian reader. I have to say that the hate speech gambit has proved very successful to this end. People are increasingly cautious of what they say and tend not to give their honest views openly in public. Even saying that you get cross about asylum seekers filling up a local hotel can be seen as hate speech, as can expressing disapproval of homosexual marriage. People have been arrested in this country recently for quoting the Bible in public and reading out loud passages of scripture relating to gay sex. We have almost reached the point where the progressive worldview is the only one which can be spoken of out loud. Anybody trying to advance a different version of events, another way of viewing the world, runs the risk of social ruin and even police action. I wonder how many people are shocked and appalled about this, but would rather not say so out loud. Is this state of fear what most ordinary people want, I wonder? Or would they rather be able to say what they pleased? 